Welcome back to some more Pokemon Moon. In the last episode, we went to Aether Paradise where we found an Ultra Beast. And then we came to Mali City, lost to Hao, and checked out the Tin Tower looking place, which was actually built by people from Johto. So all this is starting to make sense. And we also met up with Sansom Oak, who is cousin of Professor Oak, which is really interesting. Hey! Oh, it's the same person that I talked to the other time. So now we're gonna go try to meet up with Oak, I feel like, in the library, and also Lily. Hey there, Whippersnapper, did you know that Quick Link lets you connect to somebody nearby in a flash? Though you never know who you might end up connected to if there's a lot of trainers about. Hmm. Oh yeah, okay, so let me show you guys that. If you go under here, to the Quick Link, you actually hold that and then you connect to whoever's nearby. Obviously, there is nobody near me, except for me, if I open up my other game, but that's how you connect to trainers now. I believe the PSS is also back, or something like the PSS, because that's not for Wi-Fi battling, so I'm not sure how that works. I haven't tried it out yet, but time will tell. Good to see you. Why are people just greeting me? Can somebody say something to me, please? Or just say anything to me. I'm your friendly neighborhood policeman. I can't get enough of giving people directions. So, my young trial trainer, I've got some directions for you. If you head straight up from here, you'll reach the library. Go to the left, and you'll find Route 10. Head down, and you'll get to Route 11. Alright, so we're supposed to be heading to the library, so maybe that's where we should head. Hmm. Let's check out the uh, map real quick. And see what's going on here, so that we get a better look at this uh, Ula Ula Island. So this is Route 10. We can actually see everything before we head over there. This is crazy. So this is the Outer Cape. Route 17, Route 16. This is actually where Cena is and the Zygar Cube. Or where we take the Zygar Cube anyway. And this is the desert. And this is Route 12. Well right now we're supposed to be heading to the library. And instead of heading over there, I guess we're going to check out Mali City. I don't want to go anywhere right now, but um... Yeah, he stops you. Okay, so he doesn't let you go down there yet. Wait, does he? Oh, wait. Why did he tell me that then? Okay, so this is Route 11, in case you guys were wondering, but we're not going to go there yet because I want to do things in order. And I want to make sure everything gets done. But, I do want to explore around Mali City before we continue. This looks like a Korean barbecue place, and I'm all of a sudden really hungry. Amazing! This place makes everyone feel like a high roller. Bruxish is a Pokemon that puts fear even into Pokemon like Sharpedo. That's why lifeguards on the beaches often help out and get- wait. Often help out and get helped out by Bruxish. Because they help people- or they help keep the beaches safe. Boy, that takes me back to the days of my own youth spent on the beach. The wash basins they keep in the Pokemon centers have been infused with some of Comfy's own healing components. That's why what? That's why they smell so good. Phew. Am I ever starving? Which one of the Z Kaisei? Oh my god, whoa, I can't even read anything around here, holy crap. I visited a restaurant with a name, the same name in Kalos one time. Hmm, suddenly I really want to drink tea. Please trade my Hapini for your Pancham. I don't have a, what? Okay, all of a sudden they think I have a Pancham? Um, actually, you know what? There's probably something here, but I'm not going to check it out because it's going to take some time. You know what? I just wasted time getting out of there because you know what? I want to see what they have to eat and I want to see what they give you after you eat there. Because obviously, if you eat there, they're going to give you something. Oh, 4,000. Oh my. Z Kaiseki. Samurai. Okay. The samurai one. Whatever. Okay. I'll bring the food. Let's go. Oh my god, that looks delicious! Here's a Zikai Seki. Sorry to interrupt. Hmm, delicious. The mixed vegetables seem to melt in your mouth when you bite into them. Each of the little musubi has a different topping, and it's fun to pop each into your mouth. It was delicious! Now what's the real goodie here? Oh my god, I am about to be broke. Yeah, that was not free at all. You, you're not... Okay. You can't lie to me, that was not for free. 
I literally paid 4,000 for hard scales and maybe one day I'll be like, or maybe at one point I'll be like, okay, well, I guess I, uh, I use my money wisely, but right now I'm just kind of like, eh, Poodle Pokemon with fluffy fur. I don't see them at all in Alola. My fingers are itching to trim fur fro so bad. Just changing my hairstyle makes me feel like a whole new person. Don't you feel the same? Though I guess you can't see it with my hat on. Yeah, see, I want to change my hair too, but first I want to get some uh, different type of style going on. And I guess that's what uh, the place over here is for. Let's see. Why is it the clothes I wear are never the clothes that actually suit me? I don't know. Too plain. You've got to deck yourself out in as much color as a muck, or you'll look old. It's less of a fight if I just let my wife pick out what she likes for me. So wait, what's wrong with being plain? Um, could I borrow a moment of your time? Just a moment, mind you. Oh god, he's gonna pay me for something. Th thank you very much. You see, I'm falling in love at first sight with a Pokemon called Togedemaru. I love it to bits. I love it so much that I can't bear to even catch one for myself. So I wanted to ask a favor. Could you catch a Togedemaru for me and then show me its Pokedex entry so I can see it? I think you'll find some adorable Togedemaru around the power plant. Its pointed little needles are just so adorable that I'm sure you'll get it as soon as you see it. And I can promise to reward you if you do this for me, so please! Yeah, it's a cash reward, like most of the time. When you think of jumpsuits as clothes that are designed to get dirty, doesn't it make you love them that much more? Hey look, it's the Mario suit, on the right. It's the same one the, uh, the readers wear. Or maybe not, I don't know. Let's buy some stuff, let's see what we can, see what we can get here. So it's a jellyfish, uh, sporty tank. They don't seem to have, like, plain clothes. It's just uh, those for now. Oh, I kind of... Oh, I'm kind of digging those jeans. Well, actually, not really. <laughs> Let's see. Cut off jeans, faded black. I don't like any of these. Capri... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I like those. I will rock those. Wait, I will rock those too. Wait a minute. What is happening? Wooly crab. Oh, ugh. Fruit. Okay, um, I'll probably go with the uh, black for now. I don't have any money though. I barely have any money, but I want to wear these. They go with my shoes. We're slowly, slowly uh, getting some stuff on here, but I can't afford any more stuff, and I like my sneakers the way they are. Oh man, that backpack. Hold on, wait. Go back, go back. Okay, that backpack though. Yo, I actually like that backpack. Wow. Too bad I can't afford it. It's 12,000. That's insane. Street cap. Oh, I like this one too. But I think I like my the one that I have right now um, a little better. Thunderbolt. Okay. The cruel street cap. And then we have uh, some other stuff as well. <laughs> some sunglasses. Are you serious? Okay, no, I don't need that. And um, yep, I'm just going to put this stuff on. And now we uh, match a little bit more, or we look a little bit different at least. Still kind of boring. I need to deck myself out in different clothes, but I don't have enough money to buy all this stuff, you know? Oh man, it kind of sucks, but what are you going to do? That place is closed, and there's a Magnemite and a Poliwhirl looking at... What are those things? I've seen those before. Those are like... Oh, okay, those are construction materials. That's what they are. Alright, and there doesn't appear to be anything over here. Grimer eat garbage. But if they run out of garbage to eat, sometimes they'll start taking bites out of nearby buildings. We janitors have to keep, or have to use our formidable skills to keep them in check. Formidable skills? What? What is that guy talking about? Okay. Train tracks? I see train tracks over there. You looking for Route 10? I went that way to go, uh, thoroughly, wait. I went that way and got thoroughly trashed by all those bird Pokemon attacking me. If you're really set on going down that route, make sure you get ready for us here in Mali. You know, maybe maybe they don't stop you from heading that way, but it's just so difficult that it's, uh, it's impossible to go through. I don't know if you describe the bird Pokemon in Alola as being comfortable around people, or just plain aggressive. Is this the same guy? There was someone else walking around. Is it this guy that was walking around? Maybe he just greets me. Yeah, he just greets me. Okay, so I think we're done. Um, and I said train tracks because I thought I saw some train tracks. If you go over here and you open up your map, 
On the bottom left, I thought those were train tracks, but that's just dirt. Oh my god, I don't know how I even thought that. Okay, but we've checked everything out here, so... Okay, black triangle, black square, it makes sense now. John, I'm sorry, I ended up getting lost yet again. I wandered around completely lost until I ducked into the apparel shop, and then I saw this outfit. And they said it was the last one they had in stock, so I bought it. Even though I don't think I'd ever have the guts to wear an outfit like it. <laughs> but the woman working at the store did tell me where to find the library. Wait, 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 what? What are you guys doing there? I did not see them over there. It's Mutsdale and whoever that girl is. So I guess you could say it was all for the best. Though the library was actually right past the apparel store, if I just kept going. Oh my god. Why would you scare- Oh my god. John, been a while, friend. Looks like your island challenge is coming along favorably. That must be pleasing to the tapu. So, John, who might this be? Oh, hello, my name is Lily. My apologies if Mudsdale spooked you just now. Doesn't seem like you're a trial goer. What are you up to? Oh, I'm actually um studying the tapu's ruins for various reasons of my own. Well, that's some fine initiative. I'd be happy to show you the way whenever you'd like to go. My Mudsdale here is as sturdy as all get out. She can easily carry two. Thank you for your offer. I want a Mudsdale, honestly, but like I said, there are so many good Pokemon in this game, or so many Pokemon that I want on my team, but just not enough space. Shall we check out Mali Library first, though, since we're here? Alright, so I believe Professor Oak is also here, the Alolan Professor Oak. The book that I'm looking for is a very old one. It's a book that contains old myths and legends that Professor Burnett told me about. Those tales seem to suggest that Alola's legendary Pokemon came from another world. What is she even saying right now? For free! You can read all these books for free, I swear I'd live here if I could. I don't want to die until I've read every last word on every last page of every book in the world. But you're a chef. That doesn't really make much sense. Anyone is welcome to read the books here at Mali Library. I came all the way from Johto to visit Alola. Is it true you can't use fly to fly around here? Uh, I don't know, is it? Seems like. I got told off for trying it. They said it was some kind of law or something. But then how do folks in Alola fly around? Uh, on Charizard. Wow, so everyone just rides around on a special Charizard that's been raised for the job? Sounds weird if you ask me, but I've got to admit that riding on a Charizard would be a blast. Thanks for teaching me about how things are here in Alola. Here, you might as well have this. See? I told you guys it's- a wait. TM Bro. Back where I'm from, in Johto, this kind of TM is a real big deal. They called- they're called hitting machines, or HMs because they're so hard to get your hands on. But here I guess it's just another TM. Maybe you can use it in battle or something. I'm never using Fly again. This is a book for Pokemon. Alola, young John! Since you're out and about exploring on your island challenge, you must already know about regional variants, don't you? Just as I would have expected. Yes, regional variants. They arise when the influences of a particular region cause a Pokemon's physical aspect and even type to change. If you have caught one of the local Persians, a regional variance, I would like to see it. I- wait, I did catch one. Oh, whoa, wait a minute, hold on. Wait a minute, hold on, can I- I can't read these books. <laughs> I mean, it would be pretty annoying to go all around that library to try to read those books. What should I do? I should go upstairs first, and if I remember about the Persian thing, I'll come back and see what uh, Oak gives me, because Oak is Oak. He's not just going to give me Ultra Balls, I hope. It must be a very valuable book, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to take it out of my of the library. Wait, I think that girl over there is important too, the purple-haired girl. Yeah. I knew it! She's a captain! Is this what you're looking for, princess? Give it a read. Uh, oh, of course. 
What is happening here? What is this book? Well, it's titled The Light of Alola. I'll just, um, read it out loud, shall I? Oh man, this is gonna be long. The empty sky broke asunder, a hole appearing where had been none. A single beast appeared from it. It was named the beast that calls the moon. The king of Alola bowed before it, the beast that stole all heaven's light. The island guardians fought against it, but in the end they lost the fight. Then did the beast that brings the dark cast its pal on the line of kings. So would the beast that had won mark the path for all such finished things. Beast of sun and beast of moon. Through their union they brought new life. A fragile heir in Alola born that island guardians would keep from strife. The ancient kings sang their thanks for Lunala with a song of flute. Two tones rang out the altar, a perfect pair even after mute. Isn't it great? My dad's books are all great. Your dad? What? I mean, yes it is, but when you say your father, isn't this book very old? Yeah, it belonged to my dad. Wait, so is... She does not look like she's old. I know I don't look it, but my family used to be pretty much royalty. I had to have all my dad's books moved here so they didn't get ruined by the Pokemon. I could tell you lots of other old stories about Alola too. You interested? Well, that would be wonderful. I would be delighted if you did. I think I'll stay here, but I know you've come to but I know why you've come to Ula Ula. You'll be undergoing another trial, won't you, John? Good luck with it. I read that Ula Ula I, uh, Ula Ula Island's electric type trial can only be reached by the bus on Route 10. Oh my god. Well, she doesn't look like an electric-type captain, so... Or electric-type person. Oh, you're a trial-goer. You're just a few steps away from the trial at Mount Hokulani. Well, a few steps and a bus ride, that is. You can catch the bus from Route 10. Man, don't even act like you're not a captain! I see the thing on your head! What is going on right now? Wait, what? What is going on? The legendary Pokemon in the Tapu, a great and terrible battle waged between the Tapu and the legendary Pokemon, but neither side could claim victory over the other. Upon finding themselves equals, the legendary Pokemon then gifted the Tapu with great power of unknown providence. Hmm. So I guess they're talking about Lunala and Sol Galio, the guardian deities of the island. The Tapu regularly keep themselves enclosed tight in their shells as they absorb nature's energy. After many long years of absorbing such energy, their shells become hard and sturdy. The Tapu and the Island Kahunas The Tapu choose the Kahunas of their islands and entrust them with special sparkling stones. What reasoning they use to make such a choice, however, is not at all apparent to observers. This is a Kahuna right here. Right? Am I right? Am I wrong? I don't know. The Guardians and the Ancient Kings in ancient times, the Tapu served as the leaders of the armies of each island's king, but if they used their Z-power in battle, it caused great destruction across the islands. Because of this, the Tapu came to no longer lend their aid in the wars of men. Alright, so I believe that's it for these books, because it's only when the books are like, where you can see a book coming out. It's fine not to have any great ideology, ideology yet, just don't make any rash decisions. It's only by reading some of these terrible books that you learn to recognize the good ones. See, so that red book is coming out, that green one, that red one, and then that green one over there. Alright, so fortunately for me- wait a minute, no! I forgot to talk to Lily. Good lord. Oh, John, I didn't forget, you're here to- wait. Bruh. <laughs> I knew it wasn't anything important, but I like to see what they have to say. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center, grab my Persian, uh, should I do that? I don't know if I should do that, honestly. Because then I have to go back and then put it back in there, and it's just, uh, uh. God, I want to know what Professor Oak is. I swear if it's something dumb, I'm never doing one of these side things again, honestly. So, who don't I need for this episode? Because I don't want to come back to the Pokemon Center. Have I checked out the Pokemon Center here? I think I might have. Yeah, I, I did, because that guy caught a Mewtwo. Or, he got Wonder Traded a Mewtwo or something like that. Alright, so all I have to do is grab my Persian from here and move it and replace my 
Oh god, my brawler. I know some of you guys don't like these side quest type of things, but you never know how important it could be or how useful it could be. So far, it's been Pokeballs or cash or something that's not important, so I was sort of inclined not to do this, but since it's Oak, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt and we'll see what he does. Hopefully it's something good, hopefully it's a good prize, but if not, then um, I guess I'll hold the L for that. Wait, he wasn't even- bro. How did I mess up that bad? Okay. He is down here. If you have caught one of the- okay, there we go. Oh, that's a local Alolan Persian, alright. What is going on? I've heard that having a round face can be qu considered quite cute here in Alola. Maybe that explains the Alolan regional variant? And since Persians are so smart even before they evolve, it may be that they use extra energy born during evolution to instead help and strengthen and bulk up their bodies. How very fascinating and alluring. And since this regional variant Persian evolves only with high friendship, I know what kind of wonderful trainer you must be, my young friend. Thank you, John. Let me give you this and thanks. I swear, I swear. Oh, he's talking about he's talking about Professor Oak and Kanto. He and I look remarkably alike, or so everyone always says. He's Samuel Oak, though. He actually is one is the one who gave me this Kanto region Pokedex that I carry with me now for comparison as I look into things here in Alola. Sam has a grandson, in fact, who is pretty astounding trainer himself. Boy's name is Blue. I actually sent him some Z crystals as well, so who knows? Maybe he'll come visit Alola too someday. Bro, that foreshadowing. Alright, so I'll get out of here now, and... I know about Red and Blue being in Alola, by the way. Just in case you guys didn't know. But I'm sure you guys already knew too because of the trailers, right? Unless you strayed away from spoilers. That wouldn't make sense why you're watching this then. Alright, so I'm gonna go... Wait, oh, yep. It's this way. So that took a clean five minutes for what? For some nice dialogue and a love ball. It was not worth it at all. I have learned my lesson, I hope. I really hope I've learned my lesson, but I can't tell you guys that I have because... Man, there are just some times where you think that something crazy is gonna happen, but something doesn't end up happening. It's crazy. I don't understand how this is possible, but... Oh well. Heading to Route 10 now so that we can get on the bus to go do our trial. Which we should have been doing already, but you know me. Wait a minute, so who do I have leading in my party right now? That is the main concern. D Dartrix is fainted? Wait a minute, no, this is not happening. I was at the Pokemon Center this whole time, didn't... Oh my god. I am pretty ashamed of myself right now. Where's my Hyper po Oh, there it is. Oh god, use a Hyper Potion for 50 points, I know. 49 points, even worse. Oh, looks like you're a trial goer, huh? I got a favor to ask of you then. Uh, sure, I guess. Route 10 is here is a Route 10 here is a long and wide and what? Route 10 here is long and wide. God, and it's a great place to let your Pokémon play a bit. My Suffle hadn't been getting much exercise lately, so I let them out of their balls to have them run around a bit. But they haven't come back. I want to go look for them, but it's hard for an old lady like me to trip all around. If you find one of my little Suffle, you just tell them to come back to me. They're impish creatures, but they're smart as a cookie and with noses that could sniff out anything. They'll find their way back home to me. Will you help me find my stuffle? Sure, whatever. Eight? Eight stuffle hiding? Yeah, I am not finding all of those. Oh! Whoa, that was, that was huge. It's just a Fero. Get out of here! Look at my two cannon. I haven't even been able to use Beak Blast like I said I wanted to. Look at this monster, man. I couldn't get away, of course, because Fiero is apparently faster than me. It makes sense. I mean, this giant beak. Hey, man, I'm mad too. Look at it. That's my face right now. I'm sitting here getting... You know what? You want to see a beak? I'll show you a beak if you don't let me get out of here. Oh! You're trying to... Okay. This is how we're going to play? Is this how we're going to play? 
then maybe I do have to use Beak Blast on you. Maybe I do have to do this. No way. I didn't know this was a charge up move. And it didn't burn him. Interesting. It's okay that I got rid of Pluck though because... Oh my god, look at this guy! I got rid of Pluck for uh, Beak Blast. I didn't know it was a power up or like a charge up move. But it's okay. Let's see. We're gonna keep our old moves for uh, instead of getting Fury Swipes. And let's keep this going. I just spent a lot of time with Ophiro and just... Okay. I was walking by that tree and a Pokemon landed right on my head. I don't know if I should call that luck or what. That is not luck. That's just a Fero. And let me... Oh my god, that Fero actually did something to me. That is so depressing. Why did it... Oh god, I need to buy Super Potions instead. I don't know what I was thinking. 120 HP? What is going on? Why? What are these nerfs and buffs and... Crazy. Just crazy. A ridiculous power at the scene of a fire. Is a firefighter? Go back to your station, please. Firefighter Alex, why are you here? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. I'm so mad that this is actually a charge up move. I did not I did not know that, so it's kind of depressing, but it's okay. It's not really okay, but whatever. It's not that bad if I outspeed the Pokemon. Look at that. So if... Oh, okay. I get it. So if he makes contact with me while I'm charging up, he gets burned. That's actually pretty great. I didn't understand what that meant. So while I'm charging up, the I'm, I'm sure it said it. And for some reason, I didn't understand. I don't know why. Oh, come on. Really? You're just trying to make... Okay, you're just trying to make this longer than it should be. Get out of my face. Pay up. Pay up right now. I'm more interested in this EXP, honestly. I lost. I was extinguished. Uh, can you show me to the bus stop? That's what uh, you should be helping me with right now. Oh, look, a stuffle. Man, I swear. I, I feel like I'm going to get... Nothing for that. I still haven't learned my lesson, apparently. No, please don't. Fear. Oh. I am so done because for some reason it keeps freezing. My thing keeps freezing for some odd reason. I don't know why. It's like my entire computer is freezing, I think. That's so weird considering I bought a new computer just for this game. So it doesn't really make much sense to me. My old computer, like, I felt like it wasn't going to be good enough to, you know, get videos out for you guys um, in a good time. So I went ahead and I got a new computer, which hurt me even more because apparently this thing likes to freeze in the middle. That doesn't make any sense to me, but it's whatever. Let's focus on this battle right now. This thing just got burned because it tried to attack me while I was using Beak Blast and now it's gone. You know, I'll probably like Beak Blast more when it's a one-hit KO, just like it was there, but just with everything. I wanted to be a one-hit KO with everything, with every single thing that I take on. So that's why I need to keep uh, training my two cannon. I also want to evolve the starters. Oh, God. Yep, yeah, of course this Crip Brawler is stronger than the one I have. Should I just catch this one? I feel like I should just catch this one, to be honest with you. But it's fine. We'll just uh, we'll keep it the way it is right now. I take pride in training my Pokemon, so it's okay. Young boy with an Island Challenge amulet. Your Pokemon are looking a bit tired. Thank you. Something good just happened, which is great. Okay. Wait, a Stuffle. 
Two of them. Oh, I get it. That one's there because it's behind a tree, so you can't really see it. But you have to, like, move away over here to see it. And then this one's also behind a tree. So three down, five to go. She said there was eight, right? There's probably more around here that I've missed, but I'm not going to really make an effort to, to find those. No, please, dear God, why? Why does that... Why did they add that? <laughs> like... You can't get away from them. I can't even run away from them. I don't know if it's faster than me or if I legitimately just can't get away from it. I am not sure which one it is. But let's go ahead with this beak blast. Whoa. Get bodied. Does Beak Blast's power increase when you get attacked to? I don't think it does. I think it's the same either way. But I don't understand why I didn't take down the first Firo in one hit. It was like almost there. Oh my god! No way this is happening right now. There's no way this is happening right now. Oh my god! Two Cannon is going in the back, bro. Two Cannon is going back into the PC, bro. We finally have a Decidueye! We have a Decidueye! And we've also completed this little part of the Pokedex with uh, Rowlet's family. This is pretty cool. Hot diggity! Uh, blah, blah, blah. Although basically cool and cautious, when it's caught by surprise, it's seized by panic. <laughs> That's so funny. Spirit Shackle? Of course, let's go! It's a ghost type now, I forgot about that. Spirit Shackle, I still have Growl. That is pretty embarrassing, so I'll get rid of Growl. And now we have Spirit Shackle. I'm sorry, Two Cannon, but I'm serious about, like, you going to the back. I am serious this time, I'm not even kidding. Okay. So, two cannon is gonna go back here, and the Situa is level 34. Since all the starters evolved around the same time, or at the same time, level 17, when they reached their second stage, it makes me wonder if Toracat is one level away from evolving as well. Were you bothered by this beauty strolling along, or by my Pokemon? What? I didn't even... Well, no, I did see you, but obviously, I walked right past you, so... Steen? Steeny? I've never seen this Pokemon in my life. I have never seen this Pokemon in my life. I'm not even kidding. Alright, let's try this Spirit Shackle. Whoa. Yo! All the way gone? No way! But then again, that Pokemon didn't really look that strong, but still. You bother me. Alright. I mean, you never bothered me, but if you want to be that way, then you can be that way. Alright, so four down, four to go. If I even find them, I really don't care about finding them that much. But if I do find them, it's not, you know, it's not a problem. Just a little extra bonus. I bet there's one over here, though. There's definitely one in that grass. Now, we have five down, three to go. Battle this guy first, wait. Buses can get a whole lot of people to, to where they need to go all at once. Though, I'd kind of like to see a whole herd of ride Pokemon like tourists competing together. I see another Stuffle there. And then, two more after that, I guess. My impression of a Siren is pretty good, eh? I'm pretty good at Pokemon battles, too. I really don't believe that. I mean, my Decidueye is really strong, and when I got two cannon, I was really excited when I got Beak Blast as well. But honestly, it's not as good as Decidueye. Let's test this out. I mean, oh, I got, just got hit with Intimidate. Oh, just uh, just a little test. I want to see 
what Spirit Shackle does with Intimidate. No way. Not only does Spirit Shackle do so much damage, it also prevents the Pokemon from running away or leaving or switching out, which is pretty cool. It's crazy to me how Hyper Potion only does 120 HP now. You're something else. You're better at Pokemon battles than I am. I wonder how all these like adults feel about having an 11 year old take them on. And that's canon, by the way. This guy's 11 years old. We found out, um, well, not yesterday, but in the previous episode, how he's 11 years old when we went to Ether Paradise. Please don't tell me that was Team Skull in a, in a stuffle. Please don't tell me. Okay, it's not. Oh, and that's a Fero again. Let's use a Hyper Potion on my Decidueye. 32 points. I really should have bought Super Potions instead, man. You know what? I'll take on this Fero. I don't care. There's so many Feroes here. I'm not scared of Feroes. The thing is, is that I'm annoyed by Feroes. I'm not really scared of them. Wait a minute. Why did I do that? <laughs> I should not have done that. I used Spirit Shackle. Oh my god, okay. So I do want to use Pluck, but um, instead I'm going to switch into Charger Bug. Might sound dumb, but I haven't seen the Fero use a flying type attack once. Oh wow, okay. It doesn't matter because I'm part electric, so it's not really a big deal, you know what I mean? Now watch as I hit him with Spark. How come... I need Charger Bug to evolve already, honestly. That is the thing that I've been waiting for the most. It's probably going to happen at level 32, like I said. I thought level 30, but... It doesn't seem like it happened. Well, it obviously didn't happen, so... Then again, some weird Pokemon evolve at level 31. Or I think... I don't know, I know at least one Pokemon evolves at level 31, and it's about to learn X Scissors, so... Could it be? Could it be that we are getting really close, if not right at Vikavolt right now? Well, no, because usually when a Pokemon evolves, it learns a move after it evolves. So yeah, see, it doesn't make sense. Wait, what is this? Did the Fero drop that? Oh my god. What? You never see somebody take a bus stop to go before? Hey yo, you trying to steal our bus stop? Let's go find your own, you heard? Oh man, really? You know, the good thing is, is that so far we've only had to battle one of them instead of having to battle both of them. Because usually when there's two of them there, both of them battle you, but that hasn't been the case. I don't know why I'm leading with my like strongest Pokemon right now. I should honestly be trying to get my, uh, what's his name, Cat to this uh, level. Now we get hit with this air cutter, but it doesn't really do that much damage. So now what I'm going to do is hit him with this tackle. And end him for good. Ugh, end him for good. <laughs> I'm not even reading anything and I'm messing up. Alright. Okay. Brion's level 32. Is Torcat level 34 yet? Okay, now it's level 34. Oh my god, are we about to get an Incineroar? Hey, yo, when I fight, I'm not supposed to lose. Oh my god, let's go! You know what? Brion is up next. I don't care. I'm going to move Brion to the front and we're going to do this. We're going to do this right now. In Cinderor! We are getting powerful. We are getting powerful. I just need a Vickerful. Oh my god, my dreams are coming true. 
You know, if I had a wind pod right now, it would be perfect. It's so crazy that we saw the final evolutions a long time ago. After hurling furious punches, or ferocious punches, and flinging furious kicks, it finishes opponents off by spewing fire from around its navel. Darkest Lariat. What is that? Oh, it's a dark type move, obviously, because it becomes dark. So that means that um, Primarina probably has a signature fairy type move as well. The user swings both arms and hits the target. To oh, okay. Wait, what? The target stat changes don't affect this attack's stat. Bro, that is so much. That is too powerful. I didn't even check the accuracy of that move. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. Alright, so after this, I'm gonna get Brion, put him in the first slot, and um, we're gonna go in. So I wanna do this. Dang, I lost? And my homies gotta fight you. That's just life in Team Skull. Wait, what? That's not true. You guys have never done this before. We stand up to even the strong, yo. We stand up, but not for long, yo. Oh god, you are gonna get the full wrath of my Incineroar right now. I'm honestly gonna switch to Incineroar and you're about to feel the wrath. Let's go! Actually, never mind. <laughs> I don't really need to... I mean... I want to use that move to its full potential and using it against an Alolan Raticate. It's not really gonna do much, so what I'm gonna do instead is... Just do a Razor Leaf. Get rid of it real quick. Huh? Oh god, whoa! I was so confident that I was going to... Wow. I was really confident that it was going to get rid of the Raticate, but instead it didn't, and it was a critical hit? What? How am I level 35 already? Holy crap! It is true that Grass types grow really strong really fast. I don't know if you care, but that bus stop weighs about as much as Golem. Then why'd you steal it? Why are you stealing a bus stop? Like, this is so dumb. Well, they are called, uh, dumb by even their own admin or whatever, their boss. Yo, think about the bus drivers. If we take this bus stop, they can all chill. Alright, get out of here. Oh, I'm over this. Back to living large at the mansion. Huh. Mansion? Mansion? John! What's going on? Some Team Skull Punks just ran past me in the other direction, yeah? I sure wish they challenged the League instead of getting up to no good all the time. The League? Ho ho! You'll find out soon enough! Just you wait, cousin! But, then, but first things first. If you want to head up Mount Hokulani, we should take the bus. It'll blast us up there to the top. Yeah, as quick as an upper a sky uppercut. As quick as an uppercut. That would make sense too. I'm not gonna go there yet though. When is that uh, Executor Express gonna come? Maybe the bus will... Rotom, if you don't stop... Bro. If you don't stop talking so fast, I swear to God. No, I didn't... I didn't do that just for you to... Rotom. Okay, so I don't I don't even know what to do about this Rotom anymore. It's just messing around, but I guess that's just Rotom's character. And I know I said I didn't care about the stuff fool, but the last one's right there, so it doesn't really matter. Let's go and see what the girl's gonna give us, or the lady's gonna give us for um the thing. It looks like all the stuff will have gone back to their trainer. Let's go and see what we get from the little trainer here. Or little trainer. I keep calling her little and girl, but it's like a grown grandma. It's like literally a grandma over here. Oh, you child. All my stuff will have made it back thanks to you. You've been a great help to me here. I surely do owe you, my young friend. Take these from me along with my thanks. Never melt ice. Okay, that's better. That's way better. And 15,000! Wait a minute! Cute and strong, and just a little bit wild. That's what a Pokemon should be like, and that's why Stuffle is the best. 
Would you look at that? Why didn't you give me one of those stuffful? I could have kept one of those stuffful. Seriously, I would have had that on my team. I don't care. But yeah, 15,000 and never melt ice. That's pretty good. I mean, the 15,000 was a really good reward, honestly. All right, let's take this bus stop, Kukui. Wait, do me a favor and go check out the bus stop to see when the next one is coming, would you? Uh, sh wait a minute. I was going to say sure, but... Oh, I guess I can't do that. I wanted to just check it out. You are welcome aboard the Executor Express. Our safe driving record will absolutely slay you. Come on, come on, climb in. Slay me? Slay me. Really slay... Okay. All right. Okay, Nintendo. Okay. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Over here. What do you want now, Kukui? Mount Hokulani is the second tallest mountain in Alola. And the tallest. What? Oh. Check it out, John. Oh, man. You see that steep, jutting, majestic peak right over there? That's Mount Lanakila, the highest peak in Alola. And what about it? It's a sacred spot. Yeah, the closest you can ever get to the legendary Pokemon of Alola. Set to be the moon incarnate. That's it, right there, on the peak of Lanakila. That's where I'll establish our Pokemon League. We'll get everybody who's finished their island challenges. Yeah, and up there on the peak of Mount Lanakila, they'll battle against the Kahunas to become the island challenge champion. I've always valued our old traditions here in Alola, but it's time to make a champion the whole world will recognize. It's time to get our own Elite Four and make our own Pokemon League. To think that someday the kiddos in Alola will be able to go from being the Island Challenge Champion to the World Champion. And then, when we have our own champion, they can show the rest of the world what's so special about Alolan Pokemon and their trainers. Yeah! So, based on what he said, Alola is very secluded and not fully developed like the other regions are. Whoa, are you walking down the mountain? It's pretty far to the next bus stop. Am I really wa- I'm not walking down the mountain, what? Sorry, youngster, but I can't fight you. My Pokemon is like a brother to me, and he's not interested in battling weaklings. If you want me to ask him to fight against you, then beat all the trainers on Mount Hokulani. Are you kidding me right now? Yo! Thanks to Pokemon's help, I can patrol even the peak of a mountain. The peak of, a mount, the peak of Mount Hokulani is the second closest place to space in the Alola region. Pokemon are in space too? Wow! Of course, my boy Deoxys, and uh, wait, okay then, uh, what, what are you doing, oh hello, hello, Alola, you know, there's this Pokemon called Minior, it comes down from space like a shooting star, and the cores of these Minioars seem to shine in a number of different colors, they don't seem to be regional variants, but it's an interesting phenomenon nonetheless, here, I've been wanting to give you this, a moon ball? What the heck? I hope you'll try to complete your Pokedex, for Rotom's sake as well. I don't think Rotom cares. Wait, whoa! Did he just jump off? Okay. So let me try to go... Can I not? Okay, somebody explain that to me then. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I didn't even see that. A level ball. How come I'm always excited and I go out of my way to get things that are just bruh? Who is this man? Hey there! You're still as fired up as ever, eh, Royal? Ha, John, let me introduce you. This is Molane. He runs the observatory here and also manages PC boxes, but he's not Hokulani's captain. Who is he then? But I was a captain once, my masked friend. It's John, right? Thanks for coming all the way up to Hokulani to visit us. But our Captain Sophocles is a busy young man. Always calculating Comet's paths or working on the Festival Plaza thing of his. So I'll just determine whether you're qualified to take on the trial. I'll heal your team first, of course. 
So this really important guy will battle me, but not the other guy. The other guy who's not even like, he doesn't have authority. I'll gladly show you the skills of a trainer who's toughened up while adventuring alongside Kukui back in the day. These are old men, bro. Him and Kukui. This is just like battling Kukui. Pokemon trainer Molain. Let's do this, Molain. Come on. Right on top of Mount Hokulani. Um... You know what? I might have some trouble against this guy. Actually, no, I won't. It's time to bring out my Incineroar. I wish I didn't have to switch him in like this, but... It's the only thing I can do. I know I said I was going to use Brion, but it's a good thing that I didn't because... Look at what I'm going up against right now. That's pretty nice, but it's not good enough. Yeah, you heard that, right? You guys heard that, right? You know what that means, right? So I'm trying to use a Z move with my Incineroar. This is going to look amazing. But it's the same exact move, so it's not going to look any different. It just, uh, it's going to be the, the same thing, but in Incineroar using it instead. Bro! Rest in peace. There's no way you're coming back from that. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought that was sturdy or something. Jeez, he's not hes not scratching me at all. I could have honestly used Ember. Okay, we're going to see how much damage this Ember does. My god, people here in Alola just use super potions. They don't even care. Using Ember with Incineroar looks a little weird. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Two Cannon grew to level 30. And wants to learn Screech. Ah, oh, man, I don't know if I'm gonna like Two Cannon too much, man. Let's keep battling and see what we can do. I know this is gonna be so weird. Oh, my God. Let's try and see what uh, the Darkest Lilat or Lyrat does. Dang, even that. Wow. Even that didn't do that much damage. Woo! Whoa. Oh, oh my, oh my goodness. Did you guys see that? Holy crap. No, I'm not talking about the frame rate. I'm talking about the power. Speaking of power, power up punch. Let's get rid of rock smash. Definitely don't want to be dealing with that. And thank God there's no HMs in this game. Oh my God. That is like the best thing. Unless there is HMs, I'm not sure. Let's try to hit him with his Fire Fang. It's so weird, he has like two Steel types and one Ground type. This should honestly be enough for that guy to recognize me as a good trainer. Unless... Unless this guy, uh, Mulane, isn't seen around too much, and nobody knows who he is anymore. You're with Kukui. Looks like he brought along a good trainer. Well, well. You certainly seem qualified to take on the trial. Yeah, I think he's even stronger than we were at this point of our island challenge. One more thing, cousin. The name's Kukui. Who's this mass royal you're talking about? Alright, cousin. I'm heading back to Mali Garden. I figure how should be done eating Malasada by now, yeah? I'll make sure he makes it up here, too. That guy's as interesting as ever. My old buddy. Welcome to, observato to our observatory, John. Alright, so I wonder what's going on in there. Let's see, wait. I think that you'd better go with Mulane there, pal. See what the Hokulani Observatory is or whatever he said i don't know rotom you speak too fast man thank you for choosing the executor express one or wait nope i am not ready to leave yet i was just wondering if you were an npc that could give me some items or something this looks really nice futuristic take this to commemorate your visit to the observatory and keep a bit of space with you comet shard okay it's a fragment that fell to Earth when a comet passed by our planet. We can feel the vastness of space. Ooh, what a sense of adventure. 
We use different waves, such as infrared rays and radio waves to detect celestial bodies. What? Modern astronomical telescopes are basically like amazingly good digital cameras, you know? We don't really look through them at space so much as we have to take... Wait, what? My god. <laughs> we don't really look through them at space so much as we have them take photos of space so that we can see what's happening up there. We uncover the universe by having our huge computer calculate and calculate until there's nothing left to calculate anymore. Please don't fail us now, computer. Yeah, please don't fail me now, computer! It is an explanation of how the astronomical telescope was constructed. The telescope has been made so that it can detect many different types of light. And then uh, news, this month's column is about Pokemon and the stars. Do you know which of the many Pokemon discovered have to do with the stars? Our columnist is here to tell you. They can predict the future from the placement and movement of the stars. They can see trainers' lifespans. Wait, what, what was that other Pokemon? Cleffa. When numerous meteors illuminate the night sky, sightings of Cleffa strangely increase. Wait, what was that other Pokemon? A Gothitelle. That is, uh, really disturbing. This place is even bigger than I imagined. Alright, so... I guess I don't go through there. I'm supposed to go through that door, probably. Wait a minute, this looks like- wait! You see the colors? This looks like a little... a trial thing. Old Mulane and Sophocles are thick as thieves. They're up all- wait, thieves? They're up all day and all night, playing games together and whatever else they do. It's amazing that they still manage to get their work done, but it's not easy on the rest of us. Okay then. This looks like a trial to me, but it's probably for Sophocles. Oh, there he is! Is that him? You're getting close to your goal. I imagine that you must have come here to attempt a trial, huh? So, uh... Do you like the Festival Plaza? Uh, I don't know. I, I guess so, but I've never tried it. Oh, if that's the case then. Fine, whatever. Let's get started. Right now? Right now, right here. Oh, I thought I was gonna battle him. You summon the totem Pokemon and prove your strength to it. That's what every trial boils down to, right? So I thought, why not just call the totem here from the start? So I tried a bit of this and that, and I think I've whipped up a little device to call the totem Pokemon. Perhaps you're wondering why I built a machine? Here at the observatory, we also monitor sounds that we detect from outer space. There are some sounds that are inaudible to people, but Pokemon can hear just fine. We broadcast the sounds we have gathered terrestrially, terrestrially and monitor the reactions of Pokemon. The machines that summon the totem Pokemon make use of this technology. Utilizing other sounds we have gathered, we also developed a security system here, but that was actually Big Mo's invention. Just so you know, this will actually be my first time trying it out, so I'm glad you came. I needed a test subject. Pink Totem Pokemon 2.0 Engage! He mentioned that on purpose. There's something bad that's gonna happen right now. Now the totem should... Oh, God. Ah! No way! Did I blow a fuse? Ah! Did the door... Ah, did the door close? Let's see. We'll need to turn off the security system to get the door open. You'll have to pass an audio quiz. It, it's fine. I definitely feel a powerful presence. It's coming now. The totem Pokemon is coming. So let's get this trial going, okay? My trial is about to begin. Okay. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. What sound do you hear? Really? Correct! Opening door! Whoa, as soon as the door opened- Wait, as soon as the door opened, a Pokemon came through. I'm counting on you, John. What is that? Am I gonna be able to see? Oh, it's dark around me. I really hope that a Vicavolt doesn't show up because I'm gonna be super, super upset. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna be super upset if a Vicavolt appears. It's crazy how these captains- this is, this is not the totem Pokemon, this is just a Pokemon that showed up, I feel like. There's no way, I just beat this thing with one hit. I knew you could do it, John! Oh, and just when I said it, the door closed again! It's gonna be okay. The totem Pokemon is on its way. Right? Detective presence of approaching totem Pokemon. 
Is it Vicavolt? It has to be something electric. It's funny how these captains race Pokemon and then the Pokemon battle you themselves without the trainer even needing to direct them and they're still that strong, it's insane. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. All right, let's see. You hear the sound when you get what? A Rotom Dex, I guess. Oh God, okay. Whoa, as soon as the door opened, a Pokemon came through. This one's up to you too, John. Oh no, it's so weird how it's dark and it's just, what? Wow, I did not know the eyes lit up like that. Thankfully for me, I have a level 35 Decidueye, soon to be level 36, so even that Vicavolt might not be a big deal to me. Wait, never mind, I should have used Spirit, oh my god. I should have used Spirit Shackle, honestly. That's what I'm going to do right now. Because Grubbin is the only one where you can use Pluck and get away with it, but then when it comes to Charge a Bug, you can't really do that anymore. And now we're level 36. That's honestly when I thought they were going to evolve, but the good thing they evolved to level 34. And it's funny that I said I was going to use Brion. It's so funny because these are electric types. Every time I say I'm going to use something, it ends up like... For example, when I was going to use Charger Bug on Olivia, she ended up being Rock-type. So, oh my god, I'm just taking L's. I knew you could do it, John. Oh, would you look at that? The door closed again while I was flapping my jaw. It's going to be okay. The Totem Pokemon is on its way. Are you sure about that this time? Totem Pokemon still approaching. Oh god, it is a Vicavolt. It's flying and it's coming this way. The security system has been 50% shut down. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. Which Pokemon's cry is this sound? It's obviously... wait, let me... It's a Charger Bug. It looks like the door's about to open. It's another... oh my god, come on. I'm counting on you, John. Yeah, whatever. I didn't even read what he said. I mean, I did afterwards, but like when he said it, I'm just like face palming so hard. Let's see how much Spirit Shackle does. Like instead of Pluck, because I use Pluck and then I use Spirit Shackle and it took care of him. But like, let's see if I just use Spirit Shackle from the get go. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. I'm good. So I'm Grass Ghost, which means that I've lost my flying ability. Which also means that Pluck isn't Stab. And by ability, I meant type, not ability. I didn't actually mean, like, ability as in Pokemon ability. I just meant, like, the ability to fly, I guess. Please evolve. That would be so sick if you evolved right now. It would be so sick. Please evolve. Wow. Even at level 32, really? Or maybe it's because we're in a trial. I know you could do it, John. And then of course, the door goes and shuts again. Fool me once, shame on the door. Fool me twice, shame on the security system. Fool me thrice, shame on me, I guess. Here it comes. We're picking up traces of the totem Pokemon extremely close by. Totem Pokemon incoming. It's definitely here now, right? Please don't fade out. Please, oh God. Is it here? This is the final security question. In order to open the door, please respond to the following audio quiz. Yeah, the Pokemon is here. What appears when you hear the following music? A totem Pokemon, obviously. <laughs> huh? Huh? This sound. This presence I sense. There it is. The totem Pokemon. This is your time to shine, John. Vickable. A totem Pokemon of the Hokulani Observatory has appeared. What level is it at? Wait a minute. Do I need an item to evolve my Charger Bug? Because it's starting to feel that way now. It's not evolving. It hasn't evolved. This Vickable is level 29. What is happening? I just realized. You know, and that was the moment I knew I messed up. Oh my god. 
I should have gone to Olivia's shop and bought a Thunderstone. I think that's how it works. It would make sense. Please don't. Oh, no. It's gonna be a charge bug, right? Okay. That's not too bad, I guess. I honestly expected it to be a little bit more than this. So it's not that bad. Let's use a spirit shackle. Boom, get a crit, please. Or not. <laughs> Yo. Oh no. Yeah, I'm getting double teamed here. It's so crazy because when you're battling a totem Pokemon, it's um, basically the only time where you can have one Pokemon against two, unless you like lose all your Pokemon, obviously. But the totem Pokemon challenge thing was built this way for a reason. Like, I'm getting bodied out here. Look at this. But not for long. Yeah, man. As, as soon as I saw the level of the Charger Bug and then I thought about it and I'm like, yeah, okay. This, this is probably really bad. I'm gonna keep my old moves. I don't understand why she's trying to learn something or he's trying to learn something crazy like that. Double slap? That's not good. All right. So I'm probably going to lose my Decidueye to this Charger Bug, unfortunately, unless I crit him right here. Cool! I did not feel like healing up, honestly. I wanted to, but... Oh, well. And um, this is going to be really weird, but I just feel like doing it. It's Charger Bug versus Charger Bug. The highest level Charger Bug in all of Alola. Seriously, it probably is. No, it is. I know it is. There's no way I'm going to find another trainer with a higher level Charger Bug than mine. This is insane. Charger Bug, why didn't you tell me, man? That's insane. Wow. Alright, come on, man. Let me get that, uh, whatever it is. Vroom, 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 vroom. Okay, this is awkward. Sophie! Big Mo! Nice work, Captain. You helped John here through his trial, and your experiment was a success. It seems that your pink totem Pokemon 2.0... Something happened, and I pressed... Okay. If we can get a little assistance, assistance from Chargebug, we should be able to make some improvements. Here, John. I'll give you this Electrium Z to reward you for beating the totem Pokemon. And now, I can actually give this to my Charger Bug, which is going to be really good. It's going to help us out. It's so terrible. I feel so bad. Because the past few episodes, I've been talking about evolving my Charger Bug. And I probably needed a stone. I'm still not sure how it is. But, I'm about 90% sure it's with a stone. You watching? Okay. I was fine when the power was off. Jeez, now that you can see me, I feel all nervous. I'm not sure what to say. Thanks, or uh, congratulations, you passed my trial? Congratulations on clearing your trial. And you, Sophocles. Sophocles? 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 I don't know. You did well as captain. I was really nervous. Don't you worry. I'm sure that I made the right choice in naming you captain. Even if you are my cousin. Usually it's the island kahuna who appoints the captains, but there are some uh, unusual circumstances here on Ula Ula. So somehow I ended up captain. But you really were great, John. I see, then let me reward you. Stelium Z? What? This is one of the Z crystals that I collected long ago during my own island challenge to prove my strength and that of my Pokemon. So it seems fitting that it go from me to you. Take it and use it well. And if we're done here, John, could I ask you to do a favor for me? Professor Kukui forgot this. <laughs> a professor's mask? Are you serious? Okay. He said he would be going back to Mally Garden. Could you take it to him? Maybe next time we can battle. Okay, maybe next time we can. 
I really, really want to go to um, Olivia's shop and get a Thunderstone right now. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that I'm not- I don't even want to talk right now. That's how mad I am. Alright, let me go into the Pokemon Center, see what people have to say in here, and then I'm gonna walk all the way down the mountain. Isn't that nice? I love having the cafe space and the PMC. Drinks normally cost an arm and a leg up on the mountain, you know. I relax here at the cafe while my partner takes it off, or takes- takes it easy off on Pokepalego. Ah, what a life. The Pokemon storage system that our PCs use was developed by a man from Kanto named Bill. Though the Alola Pokemon storage system is maintained by our own Mr. Mulane. My Starmie. It's been pointing itself towards space and lining up its cord. Do you think... Do you think it's sending some kind of message? That's really weird. You know, that's really, really weird. Because I never thought that Starmie was something like that. Oh my god, this team is looking kind of nice. Except... Well, actually, you know what? A two cannon can stay on my team because the Sidueye is no longer flying, so it makes sense to have a two cannon. And I'm sure there's something here. Okay, never mind. All right, so we are all set to go, and uh, since we are done with the electric little place, we can switch Brion in, so we can have all three starters evolve during this same episode, hopefully. I was watching the Parabolic Antenna, and I found a trainer! Parabolic... Antenna. What does that mean? I remember when I thought that this was a trainer that was... Like a specific, you know, person from the story, but it ended up being just a trainer class. It's actually really embarrassing because... Uh, I don't know why I'm saying anymore. <laughs> Oh my god, I've been playing this game non-stop, you guys. I've been playing this game non-stop, you do not understand how crazy it is. And I've been enjoying it quite a lot, because, um... Unlike a lot of Pokemon games, though, it is super, super story-driven. Like, I know all Pokemon games are story-driven, but this one, like, five times that. Seriously. Well, then again... I'm probably going to go without a story for a while while I'm going down this mountain because it's a huge mountain. Take a look at all this. Oh, but there are a lot of, uh... Yeah, there's, there's a huge... Whoa, okay, I've been heading down for a good while without encountering anything. Or without running into any trainers. Now this guy comes along. Listen up, trainer. Battle is a hiker's favorite. Okay, then. Am I going to see any new Pokemon up here? That's what I want to see. And of course, the first thing that happens is... You know, the good thing is, is that I'm bringing out Brion on this mountain. And there's a lot of hikers here who have a lot of rock types. And it's just going to be great. I'm going to be able to take care of all this really fast. And we're going to have a pre-marina before we know it. Oh, God. I hate Mold or Sturdy. I hate Sturdy in general. You never know, especially with, you know, trainers that are, like, in-game trainers. You just don't know if they're going to have sturdy or not. So it's always like, are you serious? Oh, wow. It's using, oh, my God. Wow. Get out of my face already. Jeez, man. I wonder if that whole HP thing was done on purpose, because it wasn't like that before. Man, level 33 and my others are reaching 36 and stuff. It's crazy. It's crazy out here right now. Ooh, whoa! I forgot about that. Oh my god, that scared me. Now we can hit him with this bubble beam. Huh? Of course. I, You know, I assumed... I thought Alolan Geodude would have a different, a different thing. A different ability is what I meant to say. Why is Alolan Geodude like that? Was it ever said? It looks like he has, I don't know why he has hair coming out of his head. What the heck? Listen up, trainers. A hiker hates to lose. 
Well, so do I, but I don't go out and... Well, actually, yeah, I do go out and yell it to the world, so never mind. You're good, hiker. You're good. Alright, let's keep going down this long, long mountain. If you guys see Rotom Dex, it's not ending anytime soon. Jeez, this mountain is huge. This reminds me of, like, a highway. Like, in the States. Or actually, it just reminds me of a highway, in general. Well, if you're somewhere else in, like, a city or something, I understand. I'm in a city as well, but I've, like, I've driven across the country, so I've seen a place like this before. And it looks almost exactly like this. I mean, it's because, of, also because of the, um, these right here, the, the barriers, the, um, I don't know what the word is for them, but those. And also... These little, uh, construction cones. That's what makes it look like a highway, too. What the heck? By battling a collector, you'll be able to obtain info on rare Pokemon. That's not true. I battled a ton of collectors before and they've never told me anything. Hopefully you have something that's worth seeing. Okay, Collector Todd? Let me see something that I haven't seen before. Pass a mini- okay. Okay, okay! Alright, this makes sense. A Passimian or Passimian. Let's see what it's called. It's a Passimian. That's what it is. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to defeat this thing with just Bubble Beam, but we'll just uh, try and see what. Oh my. Oh my god. Jeez. I knew it. I just knew it, but it speed fell, so we're probably going to be able to attack first this time. And hit him with this bubble beam. If not, like, if I wasn't first this time, I would just be like, okay. Brion, you're just incredibly slow. Which I understand because you have no legs. So, I think you get a pass on that one. But, you know, Electro doesn't have legs either. And it's still pretty fast. I feel like even Dugong is faster than Brion at this point. Jeez. Okay, uh, what should I do with this? Uh, let's try Disarming Voice. I knew Oranguru was coming up next. It was just obvious. Stored power. I did nothing. Let's try Bubble Beam. I don't know the typings of these Pokemon. I should, but they're probably normal type, honestly. But I don't know exactly what they are, so this is this is just uh, you know. I'm just saying. They're definitely not grass type. Yeah, I don't know. These are some weird Pokemon, man. Not by design, but just by the way that they're attacking, their attacks, all that stuff. Or maybe this collector is just weird. Alright, and there we go. Am I going to be able to make it to the bottom of the mountain? The mountain? Is that what I said? Dizzy Punch. So we'll get rid of Leer. It's not really a big deal. Maybe I underestimated this mountain or overestimated this mountain. I don't know. Oh my god, I forgot that we got to level 34. Let's go! Primorina is here! Jeez, the Alolan starters, like the final evolutions, are all so perfect. I love every single one of them, Incineroar, uh, Decidueye, and Primorina. And we're obviously going to learn a good attack right now. A good fairy type attack, which is great, because fairy type attacks are so broken. It's singing voice... Wait, its singing voice is its chief weapon in battle. This Pokemon's trainer must prioritize the daily maintenance of its throat at all costs. What? How do I do that? Like, uh, the uh, Pokemon Refresh? That's so weird how some of the things that they say is like things that you can't actually do. And how would you even take care of its throat? Like, am I supposed to put a brush in there and just go in there like... What the heck? That is so weird. But I guess this isn't a fairy-type move. It's sparkling area. 
The user bursts into song, emitting many bubbles. Any Pokemon suffering from a burn will be healed by the touch of these bubbles. I think I'm fine with that. I don't really care if I uh, heal a burn. Where, like, when am I gonna be in a situation where I burn a Pokemon, and then I switch into Primarina and use this? And use Sparkly in Area. I don't see myself in that situation ever, so I'm gonna do that. If I'm ever in that situation, that's gonna be really weird. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump down. Uh, I don't think there's any harm in that. I was thinking about that because there's two ways you can go. You can go the other way or you can jump down this way, but I feel like they all connect. I'm tired of seeing Spearow. Oh, I'm so tired of seeing Spearow. Oh my god. Alright, P. Marina, we're gonna um, get. A w Are you. You're not serious, right? And what? You wanna play like this? You really wanna play like this? Then we're gonna play like this. Let's do this! Oh my god, the Medusa hair! Holy crap! Oh my god! That is sick! Oh, grew to level 33. That's good to know because you're still not gonna evolve because that's not how you evolve. Great to know because you're a new Pokemon. How am I supposed to know that you evolve? Oh my god. Bro. Alright, there's nothing here. I don't know why I came down this way actually. You know what? I am so tired of seeing Primarina hurt. And, like, it's set to take care of Primarina, so I'm gonna give it a Hyper Potion. Plus, I don't think we're ever going to um, get hurt again, honestly. I'm just checking out the road. Just uh, making sure we didn't miss anything on the way there. And here is, uh, oh wow, we can't go past this, I don't think. Alola is a tropical region, but mountain peaks can be cold. I'm so smart that I brought Magmar with me. And we can walk past down here, which is great because I don't want to walk all the way down this mountain. Thank you for choosing the Executor Express. Want to ride down to the stop or at the to the stop at the base? Sure, let's get out of here. Whoa, that was actually pretty quick. Wow, I fought all those all those Fero for no reason at all. They all came back. I thought that if you fought them, they just left for good, but I guess not. I guess it's just... Wow. That is insane. I can't believe that. <laughs> this episode has been going on for pretty long. Wait a minute. Okay, we went all the way down the mountain. We defeated the captain. Or not the captain, but we, we did the trial. We did all the side missions. We talked to everybody. We... Talk to Kukui, Lily, everybody! Oh my god, we did so much this episode! I don't know why I'm still going on! Holy crap! Okay, yeah, this episode is getting way too long, so... Hmm... I guess we still have to see what's going on with, um... The other routes. The desert, where Lily is, where Kukui is... Wait a minute, no! I can't end this just yet! I think Kukui's at the library, is, isn't that what they said? Uh, what they said? Wait, uh! No, that's not what they said, they said they were at the Tin Tower, okay. Let's go visit them, and then we'll end off the episode. Because I want to at least deliver this mask, because it's tied into this episode. Well, either way, I feel like this is going to be tied into this episode. Oh, God. Okay, something is going on over there. So, on second thought, we're going to have to find out what's going on up there in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to click like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.